All right, so in this episode of Property Investment Journey with Trisha Chong, so I'm here to share with you some valuable insights on how to stand out as a condo seller in a newly TOP project. Because in a newly TOP project, it's uh, highly competitive because there's many owners who's looking to rent out their property or sell at the same point of time. So let's dive in. It is crucial to align your property to the market of what others are also looking at in the current market which is a comparative market analysis of the property itself meaning that for example like uh, the newly TOP unit Normanton Park is uh, highly competitive now because currently our property guru there are more than 500 listings on property for rental itself so in this kind of newly TOP project how do we price it competitively we will look at some examples of nearby projects like for example uh, in district 5 itself what are the other units calling at other resale or new launches properties asking for their current rental price So we will actually uh, take into account the current units in the market and also what are the other units asking price within the area itself. By setting a realistic price, you actually attract more potential buyers to your newly TOP home. So by setting a realistic price, you maximize the value of your assets as well. And second point that we want to look at is having timely reviews and also adjusting the price according to the market sentiment as well. So through many rounds of viewings, we will actually sit down and see, okay, after this number of weeks, what is the response like and also what is the, what is the feedback that we gather from the buyers that have viewed the property. We will monitor the listing views and also quality of inquiries to gauge the demand to stay competitive of the market. So for example, if you are marketing your unit in a newly TOP project, another point to take note is what are the features that are stand out from your layout compared to the others. So in a particular project, there will be many different layouts and definitely your property will have one selling point. For example, if we are looking at a penthouse or patio unit, these are one of the key selling points that people will look at because it's a niche market group. of course if we were to take photos or shoot or video shoots we will actually shoot in an angle whereby um, it will be bring out the best features of the property itself so with this we are able to fetch the right kind of buyers to view the property so we can also consider enhancing the photos through professional editing or making them even more compelling for the buyers to come and arrange a viewing with you Another method which is not commonly used is the home staging method which can actually create a very significant impact to the whole entire atmosphere of the property when you step in because um, the arrangement of the furniture is thoughtfully uh, well thought of and also it gives uh, the home a different kind of impression when a buyer steps into the space and it appeals to a different group of buyers when you actually give them the visualization of different furnishing place in the entire home. Let's say if, for example, the home is an empty space and we actually engage a professional uh, furnishing company to furnish the place. When the buyers step into the place, they actually realise that, oh, wow, actually, um, this is where I can place my sofa and they can actually imagine living there better than just visually looking at images itself. And when the buyer actually step in for the viewing, it creates a different kind of atmosphere as well. So the last point which I want to emphasize on is the digital age is essential to leverage on digital platforms to reach a broader audience and you can also uh, choose your kind of audience that you want to target and utilizing these platforms like LinkedIn, TikTok, WhatsApp, Telegram groups and especially YouTube. Each platform has its own uh, unique features which allows you to captivate certain kind of audience and with this you are able to interact with your buyer 
through the digital space and the buyers actually have an impression of what they will be expecting to view before they actually come for the viewing. This actually saves a lot of uh, your time because they actually get to visualise the floor plan as well as the layout before arranging for a viewing with you. Alright, so to summarise, standing out as a condo seller in a TOP project requires a combination of techniques like right pricing strategy, timely reviews, highlighting the standout features of the property as well as home staging and digital marketing platforms where you can maximize the true potential of the property itself. So this is the end of our second episode of Property Investing with Trisha Chong. If you'd like to find out more, do get in touch with me. Bye!